As a father, all Frank Cicerone wants is a better life for his 12-year-old son, Veron. And that's why they left their native Haiti more than a month ago to travel to Brazil. I want financial stability and for my son to become an artist, to have a profession. Haitians have been coming to Brazil by the thousands for over three years, entering the country illegally through the remote Amazon border with Peru. But with scarce government resources in the border region, they are now being bused on a three-day journey to this church shelter for migrants in Sao Paulo. In the last two weeks, 500 Haitians have arrived here. So far this year, it's nearly 900. This is a lot of people for us in a short amount of time. The church manages to feed and clothe them, but there's a sense of urgency to improve the immigration process for Haitians. The Brazilian embassy in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, says they're now issuing more than a thousand work visas a month to Haitians that want to come here to this country. But that appears not to be enough, given how many Haitians continue to arrive with a lot of hope, but no work documents, no visa, and very little money. There are some signs of improvement. Work documents are now processed in a day or two in Sao Paulo. It used to take more than a month in the border regions. But with all his work documents in hand, Fariles Cleofat says it's still not easy. We eat three times a day, but what we really need is a job to get money for ourselves and for our families back home. As they look for work, the risks are great. Officials are currently investigating cases of corrupt middlemen looking to take advantage of the new immigrants. Haitians are easy prey for people looking for slave labor, walking around neighborhoods and bus terminals, and most unable to speak Portuguese. People with bad intentions have tried to take advantage of this. But most Haitians tell us the opportunity far surpasses the risk. It was Mr. Cleofat's lucky day. A business owner hires him to work in a restaurant and whisks him away, the first step after a long journey to achieve a new life in Brazil. Gabriel Osando, Al Jazeera, Sao Paulo.